Build Tools automates the process of building an executable. This gives each developer the ability to build and run software on their machine. Hello everyone, this is Bhavita and I welcome you all on behalf of Edureka to this interesting session where we will be looking at most popular build tools used in Java, which is Maven and Gradle. We'll also be comparing both of them. Before we get started, let's quickly look at the agenda for today. Firstly, we're going to get started by looking at Maven and Gradle and their definitions. Then we'll start comparing Maven versus Gradle with respect to different aspects. We'll close up today's session by seeing which we can pick and which we can use with respect to our compatibility. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Now let's get started. Understanding Maven first, we need to know that Maven is a build automation tool primarily built for Java projects. Now it is also to be known the first build automation tool that was created for Java projects. Now on course with time, it began to build and manage projects written in C Sharp, Ruby and other languages also. Now there is something that is very important in Maven which helps in building projects that is known as project object model. It uses a set of plugins in order to create projects and to make it easy. Also, Maven is a project that is hosted and developed by Apache software which was initially known as Jakarta project. With that, let's go ahead and look at what Gradle is also and its whereabout. Gradle again is a build automation tool. But here the difference is it is built for multi-language as a software development. Now there's something that we need to know about Gradle that is it was built by Maven's features itself. Now this is where they actually took the drawback of Maven and understood that most of the software languages do need build automation tool and hence it was primarily built for multi-language itself. That said, it includes C, C++ and also a scripting language such as JavaScript. Speaking of Gradle, it uses a language known as a domain specific language for declaring the project configuration. Gradle also is distributed as a open source software under Apache license. Basically, Apache owns both Gradle and Maven. Now let's start comparing Maven and Gradle. Before we get started on comparing Maven and Gradle, we need to understand a core concept here. The core concept is Maven and Apache Ant, another build automation tool owned by Apache, are two most popular build tools owned by Apache and oldest ones older than Gradle. This is where both Maven and Ant's concept were combined to create a new build automation tool known as Gradle. Hence, all the drawbacks of Maven were addressed and rectified in Gradle. So let's start comparing now. In terms of user experience, Gradle is highly customizable which means it provides a wide range of IDE support custom builds while Maven has a limited number of parameters and requirements. So customization is a bit complicated in terms of Maven. Now the next aspect that we are going to look into is performance. Now performance wise Gradle avoids the work by tracking input and output tasks and only runs the tasks that have to be changed. Therefore, it gives a faster performance. While speaking of Maven, it does not use a build cache and hence the build time is slower than Gradle. Now mind you, here all the negative features are mostly going towards Maven because Gradle is an advanced and enhanced version of Maven. Speaking of Java compilation, here we consider Java compilation as both the tools are primarily built for Java itself. Now speaking of the same, Gradle avoids Java compilation while Maven compulsorily needs a Java compilation. Now this is because Maven was primarily built for Java while Gradle is a multi-language build automation tool. The next thing is project declaration. 
Now Gradle does not use any XML file for declaring the project configuration while Maven uses XML file for declaring the project and its dependencies and the build order and also its required plugins. Now speaking of language supported by Gradle, as you can see here, Java, Android, Groovy, C++ and Scala is being supported while Maven supports C Sharp, Scala, Ruby and Java as well. Also, just to notice here, Maven supports a lot more server-side languages while Gradle supports both server-side and client-side. Now there's also scripting language JavaScript as we spoke earlier in the session today that has been supported by Gradle. The next thing which is very interesting and important is usability comparison. Now here we are going to look at the build workflow in both Gradle and Maven. Basically, with this you can understand the installation and setup of both Gradle and Maven and compare which is easier and this will make it easy for you to choose as to which you can choose if you're using new build automation tool. Now to start off, let's start with Gradle. Initially, before the first step also, you need to install local Java and set up a project for Gradle and then user passes tasks to Gradle command on your command line or even IDE. Gradle builds project executing dependent task and requested task. The next thing is it creates build directory for build artifacts, uh, for example, your jar file. And then dynamic build output is being printed to the console with a success or a failure results. When it comes to Maven, firstly, it needs to have installed a local Maven and then you need to install a local Java and then set up a project for Maven. Then user passes phase to MVN, which is a notation for Maven. This command is being given to the command line and then Maven builds projects executing all the lifecycle phases up to one that is requested. And then Maven creates target directory like your compile classes and then build output is being printed to the console with success or failure result. Here you can understand that the console output for Maven shows all the information level log statements and test output. While for Gradle, it has a dynamic console which basically shows only the task it's currently working on with a final success or failure message. Now, user compatibility, obviously Gradle is preferred. The final comparison is on popularity. Of course, here we are not going to measure as to which tool is better or which tool is good. It's on the percentage of comparison of the tool usage. So as the graph here shows, Maven is highly popular. Up to 80% of the developers use Maven as a build automation tool, while Gradle is slightly getting into the popularity zone of late and up to 40% of the developers use them. There's also Ant, which is another Apache build automation tool, where up to 15 to 20% developers use Ant. Now, this report is according to the latest statistics taken in 2021. With that having understood, the final thing that we need to know is which to choose. Now, what kind of project requires Maven? What kind of project requires Gradle? We'll address this in this session. Basically, Gradle is used if you are creating a brand new project. Now, you have no knowledge of which automation tool to use, what is an automation tool, which build tool to use, things like these. You can start off with Gradle. It basically increases developer productivity and allows your business to be more effective and add value to your customers as well. Speaking of Maven, now let's not speak so rude about Maven also. It is universally popular. So there should be a reason why Maven is popular. Of course, because when it comes to huge projects, Maven is preferred because very few changes can be made in Maven. If you are not preferring to make a lot of changes in your particular application, then Maven can be used. Again, there are summer points here that will help you understand which to pick. Firstly, in terms of growth, this is of course future growth. There is a huge demand for Gradle in the upcoming years. So if you're looking about the future, I would say go with Gradle. The next thing is development. 
Gradle being the latest version, there is a huge number of development happening in the application. So if you want to use the latest application, then Gradle is the one to choose. The next thing is fewer changes. Now, as we spoke about this, Maven involves very few changes. Now, if you want to stick on to an application and do not want the headache to change anything in your application or frequent changes is now not happening, then Maven is a built tool to use for your project. That said, we have come to the end of today's session. I hope the session helped you in understanding which to choose in terms of build automation tool. If you have any doubts regarding today's session, you can put down in the comment section below. Until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!